Instagram. I'm uh, Marish Ferencik, uh, and I have Dr. Stefan Achenbach here, who is the past president, the founding president of the Society of the Cardiovascular City, and fresh winner of the Jeopardy. Uh, Dr. Achenbach, welcome. And uh, I know you are the founder of the CCT, and you were at the beginning of these conferences. So, can you give us a little bit of historical perspective for the fellows and others watching this podcast? Yeah, I think we're we are actually the witnessing very interesting times. At the beginning, the society was founded in 2005, and the first conference happened in 2006. This was a very, you know, a field that was just starting to emerge, and there was a lot of education teaching other people how to do cardiac CT. And now, both the society and the conference have changed into a scientific meeting. So we have lots of scientific content, lots of abstracts presented, interesting research from all over the country and the entire world. So that has really changed. It was an educational meeting. It was a, a, a society to educate others about cardiac CT and now it's more of a scientific society. So that's a very interesting development and excitement, uh, exciting for everybody involved. Uh, this is great, uh, Stefan. And so you know, talking about the science and what's coming, you know, what do you see for people that would like to come next year, 2014 in San Diego, what can we expect in the next year? What are the greatest, biggest research things coming in? I think I would like to highlight two aspects. Um, aspect number one is that we really look at the prognostic implications of what we do with CT. In the past years, it has been diagnostic accuracy, developing new technology, evaluating the accuracy of new technology. But now it's more and more about outcome studies. What does it mean for the population? Downstream testing. How useful is this test? So that's one point. More of outcome studies, population studies. And the other point is a very specific one to cardiac CT. We all know that cardiac CT has a specificity problem. First of all, when image quality is degraded, we have false positive findings just because of image quality. And then there's the relationship between stenosis and ischemia. Not every stenosis causing any ischemia. And we see all these approaches now to try and get information about the functional relevance of lesions from CT, whether it's FFR, transluminal attenuation gradient, myocardial perfusion. So adding a functional component to CT, that's what we're seeing right now. And that's very interesting. So I'll... I'll ask you you know another question on this one and I think there are morphologic features that are maybe associated with high risk uh, you know maybe related to the flow and events um, can you guess who's going to be the winner well I think we have to differentiate two things one is ischemia which is related not only to outcome but also to symptoms so it's important to decide whether a patient needs symptomatic treatment and then there's the morphology of a lesion which is really purely uh, related to outcome will it cause an event down the line I think with the large number of lesions that we have in the coronary tree trying to pinpoint a single lesion based on its anatomic appearance that will later cause a, a problem is going to be a very very difficult task okay um, so the last area that I would like to ask you about is, you know, there's great research, but there's a lot of going on clinically. So uh, what do you foresee in the next uh, year or so as the big things coming in the clinical arena? Because I think that the applications and indications are growing. Uh, what are the new and coming? Well, then I would highlight the specific area that I'm interested in, and that's the relationship between CT imaging and cardiac interventions. I think this is going to be developing very rapidly. We see the start with the TAVI or TAVAR procedure, which relies very heavily on CT. We start to, we start to see the coronary interventionalists becoming more and more interested in CT. So I think that's one of the fields that we will see, in which we will see very interesting developments clinically in the near future. CT for cardiac interventions. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Achenbach, for uh, your time and your uh, great insight. And uh, um, again, thank you for uh, watching us. You know, you can watch us on youtube.com. And thank you very much. And